Are you using Pinterest to market your blog? And I felt like I've opened up with that line so many times. Well, if that's a yes, then you'll want to enable rich pins to make sure that your pins are giving your audience the best experience possible. I'm gonna show you how to set all of that up coming up right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Horizons. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and on this channel we talk about all things social media marketing, blogging and online business strategies. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in learning more about, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're notified of when I upload more videos just like this. Okay, so first let's look at what rich pins actually look like so you can get a general idea on why it's so important to have this enabled. So I'm gonna jump over onto my laptop and show you what exactly that is and how to set it up. This is a normal pin and it is one of my video pins that for some reason I think I have it hooked up with If This Then That, which is an app, which doesn't really matter right now. Anyway, so this is a normal pin. This is what it looks like. When you scroll down, this is the description of the pin. When you have a product pin, this is what it looks like. It has the price on it, it also has um, details and it's an Etsy pin as well. And then if you scroll down, then it does have the description as well. So the difference between a normal pin and a rich pin is this doesn't have a description because it's not a rich pin. But this has the description that it pulls from the page that itself and also has the description. So it has two points of SEO. This one is an article pin. So things like blog posts will have, again, a better link to wherever it is that it's going. And it has the description down below as well. And it does also have information from the actual blog post that it is connected to. And lastly, this is a recipe pin and it pulls all the information from an app, I believe, to show you all the ingredients in that pin. So in order to set it up, I'll just get rid of all these just to <laughs> declutter a little bit. So when it comes to setting it up, you first need to jump over onto the developer's website, which the link will be in the description box down below. When you're first setting it up, it will have a, a little introduction and it will have a little button here around here somewhere saying get rich pins or getting started or something like that. And it'll bring you to this page. So it's basically to set it up, you need to make sure that you have, and I'll just show you what it looks like. So to have it, make sure you have it set up properly, you need to make sure that you have a business account and you'll know when you do because you'll have analytics and ads right there. Then you need to grab the Yoast SEO plugin. Now this tutorial is obviously for WordPress. So once you've downloaded that and activated it, come over onto the app and it's just over here. Once you go into the general, you have to go onto features and make sure all of this is on. This one doesn't really matter too much if it's on or off. It doesn't make much of a difference for this Rich Pins tutorial anyway. Then you wanna head over to social, head onto Facebook and make sure that you have enabled an open graph metadata. And then if you go into print Pinterest, if you haven't yet claimed your website, you can put in the meta tag here. Otherwise I already have, so you don't need to and you can skip this step. The last thing you want to do is come over to the validator. Now the validator is basically so that you can validate to Pinterest which URLs you want to have rich pins applied to. So just select one here and click validate. And if all went well, you should have green check marks everywhere. It doesn't really matter too much if it has authors and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, just to make sure that you have like the name, the publish date, the description, especially because you'll need the description for the SEO purpose of having rich pins as well. The favicon you don't really need to worry too much about, neither does the retina icon, and you just need to have rich pins enabled. If it comes back and some of it is orange or red, there's either something wrong with the way that you set it up, so you might need to go back and make sure that you have a business account, that you have claimed your website, and that you have gone through and enabled 
everything that you need to with the Yoast SEO plugin and maybe give it some time. Sometimes it takes a few hours for it to activate. You also can validate it twice. So if that didn't work, then just go back onto this again and then validate the same URL that you just did and then click validate. I found that this worked the second time when I first started doing rich pins and setting it up that it takes one or two times for it to actually pull all the data from it. So that's the end of today's tutorial. It can be a little bit tricky when you're first getting started, but once it's done, it's done and you don't have to worry about it again. Just make sure that you're always validating new URLs for new articles or new pages that you want it to show up on. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're notified of when I upload more videos just like this. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.